introduce the name of our business, which is Food on the Go, where we provide a vending machine that sells a variety of food. Do not change your channel yet. I'm pretty sure you kind of think that we offer similar things like those available vending machines out there. Not at all. I'm here today to let you know that our company has prepared an offer tailor to the customer's needs. For our business, we have come up with a new design of vending machines with a digital upgrade. Aligned with our company tagline, which is Go With Fast and Furious, we offer a digitalized website that is able to ease the users in the future. Next, we move on to the industry analysis for this business. In general, we can split this into three sections. First being the industry attractiveness, which represents the profit potential of this industry. Second, the target market attractiveness, which represents the many profitability opportunities that this business can reach. And third is regarding the market timeliness, which represents the best window of opportunity for this business to go in. With regards to our industry, as we fall in the vending machine operations industry, with regards to reference with the North American Industry Classification System 2022, with that being stated, according to the Industry Attractiveness Assessment Tool, the industry attractiveness for this business falls between the medium to high potential range. Next, with our target market being working adults who work in offices, our target market attractiveness tool shows that our target market attractiveness falls within the moderate to high potential range. And lastly, with regards of the introduction to, of our business, it is being done at a period where the workforce is moving towards working from offices. Therefore, our market timeliness attraction assessment tool indicates that our market timeliness of our business is from moderate to high potential. Therefore, as a whole, the industry analysis can conclude that the industry which we are trying to go in is a feasible one. I'm going to talk about the customer's needs, which means what drives the customers to use our food on the go vending machines. So for the customer's needs, there are four main points that I'm going to highlight what to attract people to use our service. First is the price. The price that we charge for our products in our machines we try not to exceed 10 ringgits for each product because we target people to use it every day. Second is the quality. The machine is operated with many known suppliers, so the products are likely to be more familiar to customers so they can expect good quality food and drinks. Thirdly is the choice. The choices are very and is healthy, which is suitable for the working adult. It includes consideration of vegan-based kind of food and low dairy content that can expand the choices of our customers needs. Lastly is the convenience. This machine also provides cashless methods so it will be easier and quicker for our customers to grab and go. It also avoids queue and waiting line particularly during peak hours. Common office workers usually live a busy life routine. They don't have time to prepare food for their family or even for their own. Food on the go is the sub for convenience store and fast food restaurant with a better and faster service. But how our product is different from the other? Firstly, we targeted the most suitable location where most of the people looking for food, drinks and snacks and they are all in hurry. Secondly, when it comes to um, nutritional co content, we mainly focus the use only the best ingredient and safe preservative unlike any other fast food, fast food and uh, ready to eat food. Next, food on the go in contact with many type of food ranging from appetizer to the main course. All require little or even no preparation. All you need to do is just to open and eat. Very easy. Moving to the next is the key resources. Next, the value preposition. The customer relationship. The channel, the customer segment, cost structure, and last one will be the revenue stream. Now I will talk about the overview of the competition. 
When we say vending machines, there are about 50 million vending machines worldwide. Coffee vending machines, snacks, food, beverages, and many more. And according to research forecast, that the smart vending machines worldwide will grow from 4.2 million units in 2019 and 8.9 million units by 2024. And followed by the technology technological advancement, vending machines have evolved into a smarter way at the same time drastically influenced by the changes in consumers' behaviour, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, vending machines in Russia will never go insane. Why? Because somehow, if the seller meets the demand and has strategically location to place them, they will make profit. What are the risks from our business model created? The first one, once a business model is created, then it is strict to implement new ideas for the product. Second, creating a business model is time consuming as a lot of factors need to be considered. And the last one, there might be a chance that the business model may turn out to be inaccurate. Thus, creating the right business model is important as it provides the customers the knowledge about the competitive edge of the company. A strong business model leads to a profitable business in the future. Apart from the disadvantage, the business model is mandatory to be prepared before starting a new project. As for my part, is the implementation plan that our company uses. Our goal is to sell our service of to food for our office and workplace worker. We have been doing our research to conduct a study of the high and the lows, the trends of the vending machine industry and market. We also have done the SWOT analysis and market industry visibility has been conducted to map out the risk on our business and how our business will turn out. Thus, has been assigned to each member on their roles and responsibility, which is the important core of our business. Then we also has allocated resource, which is also implemented as our strategy plan to focus more on our management to keep our business on track. This vending machine business creates high future income and expenses, which ensures good financial projection. This is being said so because the food on the go business is able to produce high amount of sales most of the time. The firm advantages of this coming from having strategic placement with variety options and choices of food provided, along with easy use and payment method. Not only that, we provided quick, healthy and delicious food for all customers. We also promise constant restocking whenever food in the vending machine is running low. These efforts are being made to us attract customers as well as getting them to come back to use the vending machine again later. From that, we are able to secure good income for more business improvement and exposure in the future. In terms of financial needs in managing the food on the go business, there are a few expenditures that need to be taken care of. For example, utility bills, space rental, product costs and maintenance costs. These costs are important to ensure that the business are able to live and work for a long time. However, these expenditure costs can be secured from the advantages and customer attractions provided. This could produce optimum money rolling to accommodate all financial needs in this business.